Welcome to Record Keeping Requirements and Steps for New Organizations, Lesson 3. This lesson will discuss the application procedures for new centers wishing to participate on the CACFP. The information can be found in Chapter 10 of the manual. The first step is to have at least one person from your organization complete all applicable modules of the CACFP Steps to Success workshop. The required modules for your type of organization are listed on page 3 of the training flyer included in the application packet. The person designated as the authorized CACFP representative and the owner, if the organization is for-profit, must complete the training. Since you are completing this module, you have successfully started this process. In order to receive a certificate of completion, participants must achieve a score of 80% or higher on the quiz at the end of each module. Next, train all key staff members who will have CACFP responsibilities. The topics required for each staff position are on page 4 of the training flyer. Staff at each site must be adequately trained to carry out their specific CACFP duties. All CACFP training must be documented. Refer to Module 9 covering Chapter 7 for specific information about training and documentation requirements. As discussed in Lesson 1, Centers must set up all required CACFP record-keeping systems, including monthly, fiscal year, permanent, and food service files. After all key staff have been trained, begin keeping CACFP records as though you are on the program. Request an application packet from the state agency if you have not already done so. Fill out the application packet to the best of your ability, but do not mail it in. The packet must be complete prior to the pre-approval visit that will be conducted by a regional state agency consultant. The purpose of the pre-approval visit is to verify record-keeping systems meet CACFP requirements to ensure accurate claims, meals served to participants comply with CACFP requirements, the center has adequate food storage, food preparation, and dining areas for acceptable mealtime service, if the center is for-profit, that 25% of enrolled participants meet eligibility requirements and the application is complete and correctly filled out. The consultant will provide feedback and assistance as needed for areas that do not meet requirements. The pre-approval visit is also an opportunity to ask your CACFP consultant any questions you may have. At the time of the pre-approval visit, the consultant will recommend the organization for participation, require additional steps that must be completed prior to participation, or recommend denial of participation. After the pre-approval visit, centers should complete any steps the consultant identifies are needed before submitting the application packet to the state agency. When complete, submit a signed copy of the pre-approval visit form along with a completed CACFP application packet to the state agency. After submission, the application packet will be reviewed and the organization will be emailed by the state agency if any incorrect or missing information needs to be addressed. This email will also include instructions for completing the online phase of the application. The state agency's Information Technology Department will email a username and password directly to each person listed on the Iowa CNP Access Request Form. Once these have been obtained, the online application may be completed. The online application includes the organization application, budget, management plan, checklist, and site application. Be sure to set aside ample time to work on the online application. After the online packet has been submitted, it will be reviewed by the state agency. The organization will be contacted if adjustments are needed. It usually requires a few back and forth exchanges with the state agency before an application can be approved. Within 30 days of submitting a complete application, you will be notified of approval or denial to participate on the CACFP. If your organization is approved, you will receive a letter with the beginning date of approval. Applications can be approved retroactive to the first of the month prior to the month in which the application was approved, if the following conditions are met. All required CACFP records are complete, correct, and on file, 
as documented at the pre-approval visit, and license inspection or approval documentation has been received by the state agency. For example, if an application is approved on August 15th and all of the required conditions have been met, the beginning date of approval can be as early as July 1st. Centers can begin claiming meals starting on the effective date stated in the CACFP approval letter. After approval, continue to keep all required CACFP records, receive regular state agency CACFP training, train new CACFP staff before they assume their CACFP duties, provide regular training and supervision of all CACFP staff, and last, be sure that board members, owners, and any others in supervisory or management positions clearly understand all requirements for correct operation of the CACFP. To maintain CACFP eligibility, CACFP renewal procedures must be completed on an annual basis, usually in late summer. This concludes the lesson on CACFP application procedures for new centers. If you have questions, contact the state agency or your area consultant. Contact information can be found in the front of the CACFP Administrative Manual.